Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as the Soviet Union. So we got quite a few things to do before we continue our war with Romania. A few things that I noticed while editing uh, the previous video. Uh, first of all, we need to get some things building because we're actually just working on repairing infrastructure right now and we should be building military factories. Uh, we are just not doing great, I feel, where our military factories are at. I feel like they should be much higher at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on that. We're gonna get like five more, maybe six more actually. Yeah, we'll do like six more. That'll get us up to, to 50 military factories. But we desperately need them uh, because one of the main things that's limiting us right now as far as like getting new units and uh, new designs and stuff going is the fact that we just don't have the production. There's one thing I should have talked about while we were looking at the construction screen and that is something that's been brought up quite a bit in the comments. I don't know, I've seen probably maybe five or six comments about it and that is the supply hubs so the supply hubs are where your supply actually comes from and it's what we've been interacting with in here i guess we can't do it while we have this open uh, but when we're in here we can interact with this uh, so there's actually been uh, a few comments as well asking what these three buttons are this one right here is a really helpful one this is whether or not you grant access to uh, the supply network for your allies and so if we click that there uh, then they do not get access to it. You know, that's why it's, uh, you know, a little, you know, circle there with the little slash through it to let you know that they're, you're saying your your allies will not get supplies there. And the reason why this is such a fantastic uh, new addition here is because the allies, for the most part, your allies seem to know that they're not going to get supply there. And how many times in past series have we had that issue where it's puppets or allies that come in and pack hundreds of divisions onto front soak up all the supply and then you can't even push forward you can't advance you can't do anything even though you should be able to move forward on that front because all of your troops don't have any supply because your allies are eating it all up so this is a huge addition this is one of my favorite things in the expansion and even if they do pack divisions onto the front which i've seen them do it a couple times they'll still send some over here they won't get any of your supply uh, so this is incredibly helpful and it fixes one of my main issues with this game uh, because yeah that just was it would just break the game uh, because they would soak all that supply up the middle button here is to upgrade all the railways on the supply network going all the way back to the capital there and so if we clicked it then it would add that so i guess i can i can do it it'll add it on to here just a quicker way to do that oops we don't want to cancel that and then the the final button we've already kind of looked at this is the motorization level uh, essentially that you're using motorized to to help supply the area and you go all the way up to the, the the final setting to to get the greatest bonus one thing to keep in mind is that supply hubs can only provide supply from some so far uh, so like over here when we we're having supply issues here uh, if i had used the well i guess we were already on on the motorized uh, but some people were like well why didn't you switch over to the uh, the triple motorized because it wouldn't have provide or double motorized whatever you want to call this here uh it's the third setting basically uh but yeah the reason why i didn't try doing that as you can see here it wouldn't have provided any supply over here uh, so that wouldn't have helped us out in that particular case uh but yeah that's that's the three settings that you can adjust uh, but we were talking about supply hubs why i did not build supply hubs and i've been working on the railroads instead supply hubs are incredibly expensive Twenty thousand. That's the cost of a supply hub. Uh, just to kind of show you with a, a military factory, it's 7,200. And so that's like building three military factories almost. In fact, it probably is uh, worth like three military factories, if not more than that, considering the fact that we have some uh, construction bonuses that only apply to the military factories and wouldn't apply to supply hubs. So that's the reason why I don't build them. They take forever. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't ever build them. Sometimes you need them. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have to to build one in a particular location because you just don't have a close enough supply hub. In that case, you know, you're just going to have to eat the, the high cost. Uh, but there's really no reason to, to build them if you don't, uh, don't absolutely need them. If there's any other way to get supply to that location, you should use that first just because they, they take so long. And I wouldn't suggest building them here in the early game because, you know, you have so few civilian factories and do you really want to spend you know, a year to build that or however long it takes. It's gonna take a long time to build it. Uh, and, and think about all the stuff you're not building. You could have three, you know, extra military factories instead. 
Uh, so that's the reason why I haven't built them because they're so expensive. We definitely didn't want to build them here. I think that would have been a silly place uh, to build them because in fact, we're not gonna be fighting in here all that much in the campaign unless we get invaded or something. The next thing we need to do is change up our occupation policy. We're currently using the default civilian oversight. I don't think that's the best fit for us. Honestly, local police force would probably be the, the best fit, but I feel like as plain as the Soviet Union secret police works a little bit better. It just kind of fits more uh, in a role play purpose. Now you could say we, we should go with the liberated workers because you know that's the, uh, the special occupation policy that's only available to a, a communist country. However, this one has a lot of, of problems. Uh, the biggest one being the damage to garrisons is higher. Uh, also the uh, resistance target is uh, much lower um you know the bonus that you get from it i mean is much lower than what you're going to get from these two uh, it's just slightly higher than the civilian oversight so you're gonna have a lot more resistance overall uh so i, I just feel like uh so secret police would probably work better for us and that fits for a role play as well you're also going to get some resources and factories nowhere near as much as you're going to get for the liberated workers and yeah, it's a plus 20 percent plus 30 percent compared to the five percent that we're getting here uh, so obviously we'd get more use out of our territory with liberated workers but until we have good compliance here, I think secret police would be would be better for us, uh, just so we don't have as high as resistance, and then most importantly, the damage to garrisons isn't going to be as high. And I think the required garrisons is also a bit lower with secret police. Yeah, it's about 10% lower. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with the secret police guys. Switch it up for all of our territories here, and just continue to work on trying to get compliance higher. Uh, you can see that Kurdistan here has pretty bad resistance at a right now as of right now so that's a little bit of an issue uh, but that should reduce the amount of troops we have to use for our garrison as well uh, we're at 53,000 right now uh, so you know we got to provide all that equipment the manpower is not an issue but the equipment is uh, so it would be good to reduce that uh, the next thing we need to do is I said that I was gonna level up this field marshal as soon as we had the command power but then I forgot uh, so we need to do that. We could be getting this bonus for all of our troops. So it's going to get the aggressive assaulter. That's going to get us the extra breakthrough. And then we're going to do the offensive doctrine. That'll increase its attack. And then the next one we get when he levels up to level three, which will be fairly soon, I believe. Yeah, looks like it's going to be pretty soon. Uh, we'll get charismatic, I think. Yeah, we'll get charismatic. All right, excellent. Another person said that Zukov uh, can level up, and he can. He actually does have a level, level up available, but he doesn't have any traits that he can get, unfortunately. And then the final thing is I wanted to show you guys the, the new tank designs that we had gotten from that German uh, treaty. We never actually looked at that. I just want to show you guys what they look like. We can't really build them because we're short on production right now. Uh, but this is actually a tech we don't have yet. Uh, so it's kind of nice that we have, because we don't have the basic stuff. I think the only ones we have right now are the... Uh, I think they're called interwar. Yeah, we only have the interwar right now. Uh, so we can actually, you know, build something because of that uh, bonus that we got from the treaty. We can build equipment that we don't have the technology for. But these aren't that great. They're okay uh, because we, we haven't really gotten a lot of the technology that we need. Uh, most importantly, the heavy the heavy cannon. Uh, we only have the level one right now. So the attack is is not as high as it could be. Although, what do they currently have equipped here? Oh, they currently have a medium cannon on this heavy tank. Okay, so yeah, you could change that up and increase the uh, the attack by quite a bit. Also get a lot more piercing. So that would be helpful. Uh, you're going to lose some breakthrough, though. Also, it's going to become slower and have less reliability. Yeah, you could make some adjustments to this to make it better. So, I mean, it, it would be fine to build this. I suppose you're also going to get a far more armor than I think we have available. I don't think we can build this high of armor. Currently, we just don't have the technology, so we're getting a lot of bonuses that we uh, would probably want to take advantage of. The problem here is that one, we have to use some army experience to, to make adjustments, which I already have something I want to do with that army experience, and two, we don't have the production to build it, uh, and we don't even have any units out there. I guess you can build it without the units, so you'll have a stockpile, so that's not really a problem, I suppose. The problem is the, the lack of factories, guys. Uh, we're definitely lacking factories, and we need to get this uh, infantry equipment problem solved. In fact, we're probably going to go like, yeah, you know what? We're going to want to go up to like maybe 18 factories into this. We really need to start pumping factories into the infantry equipment. I'm not happy with uh, the speed that we've been building that. So then the, the last thing we need to do here, guys, is to spend that army experience. Uh, we're going to get ourselves the first bonus here 
in the, the army section, the army command, and that is the spirit of the academy. And the reason why we want to get this early is because this could make our generals better every time they level up, uh, depending on which ones we get. Uh, some of them would just help you get a trait quicker. Now, this is the one we just unlocked by changing up our doctrines. Pretty good. It'll get you the, the panzer leader quicker. So that's a really nice one to have. Also, new officers might be more likely, 50% more likely to, to start with that. So this is a pretty good one. However, I think we're going to get bold attack uh, because it's a 50% chance that you're going to get a plus one attack. And that's in addition to the, to the plus one to one of your skills that you always get when you level up, uh, your generals, I mean. This is an additional 50% chance. So the idea here is that every other level that a general gets, he'll get an extra attack. That's huge. Uh, that's a massive bonus. Of course, it might not work out that way uh, since it is just a 50% chance, like flipping a coin. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this would be better for us, even though I'd really like to have the Panzer leader, uh, leader bonus. If you just give somebody tanks and let them fight with them, they'll typically get that on their own. So yeah, I don't think we'll do that one. We'll do this one here. This will help all of our generals. Uh, could do defense instead, but I'm planning on you know attacking. Even when we're on the defense, when the Germans are hitting us hard and they're launching their full offensive, I feel like uh, we're still going to be launching attacks at them in specific locations. Uh, so I think even then, the attack would be good. Here's some of the other bonuses you can get. You know, The different ones for the traits. Here's this one here, and this one here. Uh, but I feel like these are the two obvious picks. And we're going to go with the bolt attack. So we'll get that now so that it'll apply to our generals every time they level up. So something we want to get kind of early. All right. We actually probably would have the experience to make adjustment to one of those tank division designs because it's so cheap. Oh, but yeah, let's go ahead and continue the war against the Romanians. Remember, we brought too many troops down here, so we had to evacuate a little bit. Uh, so I think we just got here with many of these troops. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here because it's, they're just so weak. So we could probably get a win there, and then we'll just leave these guys here. I know they're, they're soaking up supply right now, but that's okay. All right, so should get a win there. Uh, no tanks over here. All right, I wanted to attack right here, and, and we still will, I suppose, with the mountain troops, because we could probably still get a victory. This guy needs to increase his organization a bit before we launch any attacks. Yeah, no tanks. So let's go and bring these guys over here. Oh, you know what? They can just attack from this direction. That works. And then we'll uh, support that. Make sure we get a win there. And what do we got going up here? Uh, oh yes, there's one more thing. There's so many things I had to do. I knew I was gonna forget something. Uh, we need to spend our political power and rather than get something here, we, we really need to, to deal with the paranoia. Uh, this is becoming a problem. And we're not gonna be able to get it where it's, it's not gonna be a problem because even with the 20% uh, drop, or I think some of these are, yeah, the, the one I'm gonna use is, is only a drop by 10. Uh, but I would really like to avoid them hitting our our army or our fleet. Uh, so we'll try this one out and see which one we get here. It'll be a week before that fires. But in that case, I'd rather do it myself than have Stalin choose which one's gonna happen there. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to throw another tank in here and maybe get some support. Or actually, we just throw a whole nother division on the attack and then I suppose we'll have this guy's support. They, they put more divisions over here. And our naval invasion, I think we still have a few days before we'll be able to launch that. Uh, so we've taken this location. Let me see if I can't get across here in time. We might have to attack across the river just to lock division down. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this province. You know what? We don't need to rush across the river. It's fine. I don't think we'd get there very quickly. Let me just see. 21 hours. That's not bad. I suppose to get you across the river real quick. Yeah, I guess we'll do that, and we'll lock them down. But we do need to grab this location over here as well, so let's go and put one over there, and then it should probably be the weaker one, actually. And then he'll have to attack across there to lock those two units down. And then we also should probably attack these guys here. But I want to cut these guys off. It's a bummer we didn't have more tanks over here. It looks like all of our tanks are right there. Uh, we do have some tanks over this way. They're starting to come down this way. All right, so we're across the river. Excellent. That means we can stop these attacks. And instead, put that division over here. We'll stop that as well. Though it does look like we're about to lose. So let's throw a couple divisions over here. We'll see more come over this way. It's fine. Actually, let's take this guy and put him over here. All right, so let's just take a look at this invasion real quick. I want to see how long. Uh, so 31 days, it looks like. Or excuse me, 21 days. Math. So 21 more, day 21 more days, and we'll get... 
uh, the ability to throw an invasion over here, and I do not expect there's going to be a whole lot of, of resistance against that. I just don't think they'll be able to resist us. Uh, let's go ahead and try and cut these guys off. Now, they'll still have the port, so they'll have supply. Uh, but we'll have to attack across the river to stop these guys, won't we? Now, we got those suicide pills. Excellent. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, I think, is going to be the intelligence techs. Could also work on a little bit of passive defense, I suppose. Yeah, that would be a, a good thing to get as well. All right, we'll do the passive defense, a couple of those. And then we'll do the, uh, oh, you know what? We can also do Spymaster. Get ourselves another operative. Yeah, let's go and do that. We'll do the Spymaster. Eventually get ourselves more operatives. All right, so this is the event we got from the paranoia decision we took. And that's the advisor accused of treason. And so we'd be retiring him. And that would reduce paranoia by three. Or excuse me, by 30. Uh, we already reduced it by 10. Bringing it down to 34, so yeah, I forgot that if you do it, you do reduce it by a lot more. So that would reduce the issue that we have right now. But who are we getting rid of, I guess is the question. Is it anybody that like we really care about? Uh, Tomsky. I don't think so. I don't even think we can get this guy. Nope. Mikhail Tomsky. So I am absolutely okay with getting rid of him. A tumor so close, the heart must be excised without mercy. Uh, so that'll get rid of the paranoia, and we'll be good for at least a little while longer. Uh, because remember, we still have a little while at least. I think it might be until the end of that focus that we can then get the uh, get the one focus that... Will that end it? Or is it the one before we end it? I'm surprised with how long this attack has been taking for us to get a win there. We did cut these guys off here. Uh, we're keeping them locked down, keeping them as well. Uh, so now we're going to try and defeat those units. So let's go ahead and send whatever we got here. Uh, they're coming over this way, but you know what? We're going to attack over this way real quick. No, no, no. We'll bring them, and then he'll attack over this way. Keep these attacks going for now to kind of help them out. And let's go ahead and send this division over here. Make sure we don't lose that province. So we can try and get these units destroyed here. And... Uh, we should be able to do the invasion soon, but again, it might not even be necessary uh, because we're we're doing pretty well. It's it's Romania. It wasn't it wasn't expected to be a difficult fight over here. I'd love to be able to grab that railroad location. Let me see if we can before he gets here. It's 18 hours. He could probably get there a decent time if we weren't being attacked right now. Uh, let's go and send some more tanks over here then. Take one of these guys, bring him over this way, and then let's just attack here just to get this defense over with. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do this. I'll have to attack that guy to lock him down. And yeah, we're not going to be able to lock him down for long enough. Okay, so that didn't work. Unfortunately. So in this case, we don't need to be attacking here. Alright, so let's go ahead and send these troops over this way. Uh, maybe not him. He's pretty weak. We'll turn him to the tank instead. And then we'll take this guy and have him attack as well. And maybe not attack across the river when that's... which means we'll have to restart the attack. All right, there we go. Get those units destroyed. Uh, looks like we won over here as well, so now this is the point where we gotta cut these troops off, although they're already gonna be kinda cut off. Uh, we got the passive sonar. We're gonna wanna add that to our ships immediately. And maybe get one more tech here for the ships. You can get active sonar. Remember, the main thing we're gonna be fighting against the Germans will be submarines. But depth charges would be pretty useful as well, and we can get it quick because we have the naval experience to invest into it. I mean, active owner is pretty quick as well. I feel like that's like the bare minimum you need to, to be able to fight the, the destroyers effectively, or excuse me, to be able to fight the submarines effectively, is some sonar and some depth charges. So let's get the depth charges. And thus, we're going to go and change these up immediately. I don't see any reason not to. And I almost want to get another destroyer model going. I think I mentioned this before. Uh, once we have these dockyards freed up, which will be in the 6th of May, 1938, is when we'll get that done. Uh, but yeah, I almost want to get like a torpedo destroyer. I think would be a good use uh, of our experience. So we got the the radar, uh, the sonar. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if we have. We don't have any radar yet. So I just want to add the sonar, and I did forget. I always forget to change that up before we make any adjustments. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get the sonar. That'll give us a bit of, of sub-detection, help us out quite a bit. I think that's the only thing we have. Yeah, that's the only thing we have to add. Uh, so let's go and save that. 
and get these replacing these ones as soon as they're done. We'll just have them build one more. And you can see the dockyard situation is horrible. We're not even building convoys now. I'm guessing they were taken from repairs. Yeah. So now let's put these above the, the submarines here. But yeah, we got a lot that are working on repairs right now. Having those ships out there training all the time uh, does result in us having to use those dockyards to constantly repair them, unfortunately. Uh, we can do this one again. And remember, this is the really helpful one uh, that doesn't really have much of a cost outside of the, you know, taking a few of your civilian factories, but that's not bad in order to get rid of the uh, paranoia. So if it gets high again, we can make use of that, which I assume it will get high again before we're able to do anything there. All right, so I think we should be able to get a win here now. Although, man, our units are so weak. All right, yeah, I want to attack them right there. Uh, what we might want to do, we're not having the supply issues we were, because I think we just took over the, the network. Yeah, it looks like we got the network in our hands now. Excellent. So we can use that there. In fact, might want to go ahead and say that we want them to use... Yeah, I don't think they need to do the, the double one. Uh, but yeah, we do want them to use the motorized here. Make sure we're getting good supply. And thus, since the supply situation is better, we can now pull the divisions back a bit. The Green Army Division, so we can put more up here. Now, I wish that tank would stay there. Alright, so what we're going to have to do to make sure he stays there is take one of the, the uh, mountain troops and move them out. So they removed the division that they had there defending. That's strange. I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but we'll uh, try and get over there then. As soon as we finish up with this defense. Oh! Never mind. He just hadn't gotten there. That's what it was. So we destroyed those units. Excellent. So now we can get everybody up to the front here, and then we'll attack here and probably here. Uh, we're gonna let them continue to get their organization back up. And frankly, we're gonna have to wait till we get more troops before we can do any attacks. Wait for that guy to leave. All right, let's go and do an attack now. The Yellow Army Division can uh, hold that location for us. Oh, we got another tank. Excellent. Let's throw him over there as well. And that'll cut off these divisions. We'll just throw everything we got over here. No support. Uh, over here, let's see where the best location to attack would be. Probably here. If you take this location, I guess you cut them off as well. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. No matter what, you're cutting them off from the their capital. Uh, we'll take this location though, this essential railroad location. Also, it's you know would connect us here eventually once we take that province. All right, so let's go and send the tanks in. We're just sending all the green army units in actually. Uh, I'd love to attack here. This would be across the river though. We'll just wait till we do the invasion. You can see that they are actually going to defend against this invasion. Yep. Uh, so what we need to do is set up the ships take them off of the uh, patrol and instead have them do the uh, naval invasion support. Because we got about five more days before we'll be able to do that attack there. Alright, so we did get these guys cut off. Excellent. So now we want to go ahead and destroy them. Uh, maybe not use the yellow army divisions for this though because those yellow army divisions are incredibly weak and terrible. They are not great. Uh, let's just have these guys stay here and attack over this way as soon as they're done with the current defense. The Romanians are attacking across the river, so it's very costly for him to do this. We've got the improved machine tools. Uh, so, we might be done here. Let me just take a look at our resource situation. Yeah, we're still doing good, frankly, because we haven't built enough military factories. So yeah, I don't think we need anything here just yet. And we just got to 1938, so we should probably work on the computing machine. Y'all know I love that those research bonuses. And when you have so few research slots, you want to make sure that you're uh, getting any kind of research bonus you can. We're going to attack across the river here, not so much to win, just so we can get that tank over there without uh, anybody else stopping them. And I wanted to attack over here. Let's get those guys destroyed. Have them support. And send the tank over here as well. Alright, just keep pushing them back there. Uh, still winning in that location. Uh, these guys are pretty weak here. I almost want to attack over there. That's because they keep on attacking us. Again, they're attacking across the river here, just kind of weakening themselves unnecessarily. Uh, can get the Air Doctrine. Is there anything else we have over here to still get? Now, we've done all the Air ones and all the Naval ones. It's just the Army ones that we need to get at this point. So with the Air experience, 
we should probably start knocking out the doctrines. And I feel like battlefield support would probably be the best fit for us. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best fit. So we're going to start out with this, and it is going to be 105 because of that one modifier we have, which is going to be a while before we get rid of that, so might as well just go and get it. So this is fighter detection up, air wing mission experience gain is up as well. All right, excellent. So that'll help us out. And we are having some trouble with the garrisons, the infantry equipment. What are we using? Are we using more? 108,000 now. I'm thinking that's because of the new territory we just took from them. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We have taken this here. Let's hurry up and get across that river. Still have to get all these divisions here destroyed. So let's go and start working on that. Just two more divisions left, I suppose. Uh, and then over here, let's go and push forward, grab that air base. And we'll also grab this here. You know what? We should probably use the tank instead, even if it is into the forest. Not sure why this guy's leaving. He should really stick around here, honestly. Alright, uh, so yeah, we'll bring these troops over here to hold that location, because they are trying to stop us from moving here. Looks like we'll easily get across the river there as well. Alright, so that worked out nicely for us. Let's go and attack these guys here then. And stay here. It looks like we have far too many green army divisions over here, trying to move to that location. Alright, so let's go and take this here, and then cut off these three divisions, and I guess we'll go ahead and support, and make sure that gets done quickly. And then we'll probably want to attack anybody who's trying to get out of there before we're able to take the province, which it looks like he won't be quick enough. So it's fine. Uh, we'll go and support here then. So yeah, these troops will not be doing well on supply. Yeah, you can see they're in a horrible position at the moment. Wish we could hurry up and get this done here. There we go. Knock that out. That'll bring all the divisions over the front line. And now we just need to wipe out these troops. Now, some of these attacks are kind of foolish. We don't want to do it across the river when we can just do it from this side. It makes far more sense. Uh, let's go and grab this location here. Uh, we'll have to fight for it, but that's all right. Uh, we'll go and grab that as well. And still too many divisions over here, but what we could do is attack with this guy to kind of help out with that defense. Since this is the Yellow Army Division. Uh, and then this army. I did forget about them. Uh, so let's go and send the invasion. And we'll attack him from behind and go straight after Bukharist, uh, the capital. And Zukov was wounded. Oh, that's unfortunate. So now we won't get all his uh, his bonuses for a little while anyway. Uh, let's go and push forward here. Go and attack right there just to stop them from moving forward. And these are mountains. I assume Sony will be there, but we'll we'll try and grab him real quick. If you can grab a mountain province undefended, then you might as well. Uh, it does look like whatever we are doing here isn't going to work out. We need to wipe out the troops here, so let's go ahead and start doing that now. I'm not sure why these guys are so set on going across that river there. Kind of strange. But yeah, this that's really silly. We're probably taking more casualties due to that than necessary. And this attack stopped probably because I stopped the one that was going across the river. Alright, so we'll try and wipe out all those troops there. Did we lose this province here? I'm not entirely sure if we lost that. All right, so we'll see how that, that invasion goes. Probably be a, a win, I think. Yeah, it looks to be a win, 89. We got the passive defense, we'll do one more. And we haven't gotten the operative yet, not yet. Be 29 days away. We're about to get that operative. So we have destroyed those two. This guy's just about destroyed as well. There we go, beautiful. All right, so all the divisions get on the front. Let's go and continue pushing forward. We were able to get that mountain province while it was undefended, so that worked out nicely. But these guys are here now, but... Did we try and lock them down? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, we're locking them down. So we should probably support them to make sure we can grab that province before they get there as well. Just seeing any other areas where we can advance. Again, just trying to keep our casualties low. Uh, while manpower may not be an issue, equipment is. It's always something to consider. You know, you're playing as China, you're playing as India, the Soviet Union, you're just thinking, oh, well, manpower is not a problem for me. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what my casualties are. No, on top of my little personal goal, I guess we'll have to finish defending there. Well, we can go over here. But on top of my personal goal of trying to, you know, take as few casualties as possible, there's also the fact that uh, we should use this guy here. Uh, there's also the fact that every time you take a casualty, that's also equipment that's being destroyed. And I 
would bet, as any of those countries in the early game, China, India, Soviet Union, you're probably short on equipment. All right, so they brought units from over here to try and deal with this invasion. That really kind of messed them up. We can go and put our ships back out in the sea. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter whether they're doing naval invasion support or patrol at this moment. All right, so we're going to grab that. We've already taken this here. Let's go and attack further. Or, you know, we'll pull one of them back and have them support. Uh, make sure they can't get over there. All right, looking good. We've taken this location, so now we're going to want to destroy the one unit we cut off. Should be fairly easy. And then let's go and take two divisions, send them over that way, and then take these two to lock that guy down. While we get across the river there and continue moving after the, the capital. Uh, and then up here, I mean, it's just completely undefended, so might as well keep on pushing forward, I suppose. Might as well. And then we'll attack across here. Not a great attack, obviously. We're just trying to lock them down, so we continue to take provinces. But yeah, you'll notice I have no real interest in, in fighting in these mountain provinces. We'll push forward in some locations and stuff, but I don't really see any reason to take the casualties unless you're trying to like lock somebody down temporarily. All right, so these guys should be staying here. Let's go after the capital. Come on, man. So yeah, we'll uh, go up this way now. As far as the rail system, taking that should cause them supply issues here on this side of the front. Uh, I don't know how much longer they're going to stick into this war, so you know what? Before they capitulate, I don't think they'll capitulate with the capital taken. I think we'll be all right. I did want to kind of dip in and take a look at the casualties, though. I often forget to do that. And then we're just curious, like, how do we do? We have no idea. All right, so yeah, we'll just grab all these provinces. There's nobody here to, to stop us. All right, so we've gotten the capital. Let's go and take a look at how close they are to capitulation. 84%, so very, very close. Uh, as far as the casualties go, we've taken 26,000. Remember, some of that was the attacks across the river, so those were more costly than they needed to be. Because uh, some of those attacks I didn't need to do. I was doing with the Yellow Army. Well, they've taken 199,000, so that's still pretty good numbers, honestly. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's a lot of casualties for them, and not too bad for us. And we got some experience from this this conflict overall. All right, so they're trying to push up over to there. We gotta wait until we finish with the defense here, pushing up there as well. Uh, you don't, I don't really want to attack across the river if we can avoid it, which we can. There's no reason for this. Get these guys over here and just attack from that direction. It's a far better way to go. Uh, let's go and start pushing forward over here now. And just make sure everybody is moving if they can. Man, we've had some difficulty here. We'll just let them attack us. I don't know how many people we're losing we're trying to attack across a river into the mountains. Again, far more than uh, necessary. Let's send those guys in here. I'm trying to cut these guys off here. Still too many troops up this way, though. Uh, you know, they're going to get there in one day. Let me see if I can beat them. We can't. All right, so might as well just let him go. We'll stay here and defend. And this guy will push forward here. And then he'll grab that one. Yeah, since there's nobody here, you might as well just push forward with all these troops, I suppose. Have him come over this way instead. Yeah, just a nice, slow attack here. I'm surprised that this guy's going so darn slow. We'll have him go up along the edge here so he can go this way. But yeah, it's been a uh, slow going. And part of that's these mountains. Also, we are fighting in winter, too. This is January, and the... Uh, the weather penalties, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, the, the weather penalties in this version of the game are significant. They're way higher than they were in previous versions of the game. Oops. I'm trying to send this guy. But yeah, the weather penalties are significant. Very costly. And so I'm sure that there's snow on the ground. Yeah, it's snowing, snow on the ground. Uh, so we're getting lots of penalties at the moment, guys. But I'm not going to stop the attack into into Romania for the winter. Um, but in other other conflicts, we might not want to fight in winter. And I used to do that back in the day, uh, in previous much further back versions of Hoi 4. I used to uh, stop my attacks in winter, just because you know it's so costly, and we would just not really fight in the winter all that much. But I stopped doing that. Oh, we finished up. Excellent. 
Uh, but yeah, I stopped doing that because it was just not necessary. We were able to like, you know, typically if we, we spent the time attacking in the winter, then we could easily, uh, push, push them back and, and cut off lots of troops and stuff. And, and, and overall we didn't need to stop, uh, in winter because the, the AI was so easy, uh, to defeat. So I didn't even really care about it all that much. Uh, but now it's serious. Those weather penalties are, are, uh, increased drastically in this version of the game. So we did get some new equipment, which is really helpful uh, because equipment is our, our weakness right now. So I was only going to take Bessarabia, so just take those two locations there. But as someone pointed out in the comments, we've already taken this location here. Bulgaria will likely join uh, the Axis, and if they don't, they'll get attacked by the Axis. So they'll likely join the Axis, and then we can have the whole Black Sea is, is our sea. It'll be our uh, Mare Nostrum. So, yeah, I feel like he's right. It does make sense, and it looks better if we annex all of Romania. Again, I wasn't going to. I guess you could just take the coast for that purpose, then how do you make it look nice, though? And there's just no way to make it look nice if you just take the coast. I guess you can leave this as Romania, but, I mean, they're going to be so weak, they're, they're practically useless. So yeah, I mean, I feel like because of the fact that I took this, if we had left Turkey here and puppeted them, then it would have made sense to also puppet Romania. But yeah, since we already annexed all this, it's like, might as well, might as well uh, annex all of Romania. So that you'll have, uh, you know, Bulgaria eventually, you'll take that, and then this will all be yours. And as of right now, the map looks kind of, you know, strange, but uh, it won't once we, once we annex all this. Now, we're not going to annex everything, guys. Uh, I will be put doing some puppeting, but yeah, I just feel like in this sense, it, it makes more sense to, to annex it. I suppose you could just puppet Bulgaria. That'd always be an option as well. So you puppet Romania, puppet Bulgaria. Yeah, I like the idea of having us completely surrounding the Black Sea. I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's what we'll do. Uh, so let's go ahead and annex all of Romania. And, you know, we can always use the, the extra factories. Uh, you know, puppet does give you some factories, but not very many. Uh, it's better to, to eventually just annex it, you know, once you get the compliance up. Uh, now this is going to drastically increase our garrison, uh, so we're going to have further problems with that. Uh, let me just make sure that there's nothing we want to do with the Cossacks. I don't think so. Yeah, I think this is as best it's going to get for us. All right, so we're going to move all the troops out uh, as far as where we're going to go with Zukov's force because we're not going to uh, do any more attacks until we do the... The focus is for this line, Finland, the Baltic states, Poland, if we end up doing that, the Eastern Poland. There are actually benefits to not attacking Eastern Poland. And the key here is how many troops of the Germans you can cut off and destroy if you have Lithuania very easily. You just have to attack the railroads here, at like, yeah, there, and then, like, right there, right here. And then you can cut off all the troops that Germany might put up on the borders over here. Results in a lot of a lot of Germans being killed. The problem is the focus tree. That's going to cause us issues. So let's go and put Zukov's force somewhere else. You know, I feel like they should be red. That's where the Soviets. And for Zukov, he's our star. We'll give him a star. So let's go ahead and uh, move them. I want to put them up here since this will be the next area to attack. The supply would be an issue, so probably shouldn't do that. In fact, we're probably going to need to split the force up, because I don't think they can go anywhere without having supply issues. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere to go. Uh, world tension's too high now at this point to declare war on anybody else without potentially having to go to war with the Allies. That'll likely guarantee anybody we attempt to declare war on. Yeah, I bet they guarantee anybody. So I don't think that's going to be an option for us. I don't think there'll be any more wars. World tension's just too high at this point. As far as where to move these guys, again, I think we're just gonna have to put like, spread them out. They won't have like a front or anything and just uh, put like five divisions over here and five divisions somewhere else and so on and so on. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do it that way. Just spread them all out for right now. Oops. Just so we don't have too many supply issues. I guess we'll see how bad it is. Uh, we also have the purple army too. That needs to be put somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so maybe the purple army should be down here then. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put the purple army down here. So we just stop those guys from moving. And we'll have the purple army down here, since they kind of have been our naval invasion force. So that's where you'd want to keep them, I guess, on the Black Sea for now. 
All right, and then put these guys over here. Uh, the yellow army, they're gonna want to get up on this front here. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna want them up along this front. So this is our defensive guy. I think I believe that's uh what we decided we'd have him do. He's being like a defensive, although he's really good. Honestly, he could do multiple things. Let's just get rid of this army for now. Put him into this one. We'll get it all uh, sorted out later. Uh, for right now, we're just gonna put these guys on on uh, the provinces, and just make sure that we have one division covering every province on the on the borders. Uh, with this conquest of Romania, we're now gonna have a much more difficult uh, front to defend. Although we might just have to retreat from some of it. That yeah, might be a real possibility. Is this one province? This is. All right, so go over that way. Yeah, we could end up having to, to retreat. It's a real possibility. All right, so now the Red Army. Again, army management with the new supply system has kind of become a pain in the ass. Uh, just a bit. Uh, we might be able to supply some more troops in Moscow. We'll put them over there for now. But yeah, you can't just throw a ton of divisions in a, in a location anymore. Uh, you gotta really like consider what you're doing with your divisions. God damn it. You guys are all supposed to come over here. There we go, beautiful. Hey, you gotta really consider where you move your divisions at all times. And they can go to, I guess, Stalingrad or something, or over here. It'd work as well. And we'll just have to take a look at them and see, like, if there's any supply issues. Yeah, I feel like the. Maybe I'm just letting it go too soon. Did we move anybody to Kiev? I guess we'll wait and find out. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. I mean, they're having supply issues now, and they're not even. There's not even that many divisions there. And so yeah, it's just always something you have to consider, uh, especially here in this Soviet territory, because you got the uh, the rough winters. And so the winters cause lots of supply issues. So we'll still have a few divisions over here, I suppose, that we'll need to get, get moved over to the front. Eventually we just want to create our own armies, uh, create armies all across the front. Uh, we did get the finish the five year plan focus finished finally took us a while uh, we can go to speed five now as well so we can really start flying through some time all right so let me see if this one's ready before we go after that one it is so on the 10th of february is when we're going to go ahead and get that that focus started um uh, these guys can stay here move him over that way so i just make sure we have a division on every every location and then the rest will come up over here onto this front and something's right there I might have doubled up some of these not remembering where I set them any more all right so let's go ahead and make sure that they all take the railroads they might have some openings or whatever it's fine uh, Austria has just been annexed we are in 1938 and we can't get this focus now, I believe. No, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that one. And that's the second to last one. Oh, that's the last one right there, guys. Uh, so this will get rid, completely get rid of uh, the herd system. So that's awesome. We'll finally be done with it. Don't have to deal with uh, Stalin's paranoia anymore. Uh, we should probably shoot this one down one more time. Go ahead and knock that out. Just get that paranoia to decrease some. So hopefully we don't have any more purges at all. That's the idea anyway, we'll see. So yeah, we didn't have quite enough divisions, but we have these guys here. It's not that it matters anyway. I just put them there just to have them there. I guess you could always pull like these guys over there. Have like uh, one go over here and then one go over here. And I did forget to turn the speed up. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I might also want to take a look, see if we have anything we want to spend experience or political power on we do get the depth charge throwers excellent so do we want to go and get and knock out the uh, sonar we don't have a lot of research slots you know what guys i don't think we're gonna get that i'd like to get it would be really helpful for sinking some of those uh german submarines but yeah i really feel like there's so much stuff to get right now we're so behind due to the lack of research slots you know, we'll, we'll get this and then we'll be done. We'll be done with the ship stuff. So we're gonna add these as soon as we get them, uh, which 
it doesn't look like we finished this one, so we can just go and delete that. And then, uh, we don't have to make any adjustments here with the name. Go and get Depth Charge 2's on there. Alright, excellent. So I think that's good to go. Let's go and save that, and then get him out here. And go ahead and throw him into Leningrad. Now, as for the submarines, I don't think we got anything for them. Let me just double check, but I don't think we, uh, got anything to upgrade. Nah, there's nothing to upgrade here. Alright, so just try to make our destroyers as good as possible when it comes to sinking, uh, submarines. Uh, because that's the main thing we're going to be fighting against the, uh, Germans. And then we'll knock out all the intelligence ones. So we can get a new recruit. I'm not sure who we want to do. We could do this escape artist, who's also tough. Could get uh, the British double agent. He's an infiltrator as well. So that helps. But we also don't have any Soviets. We have like no Soviet spies right now. Uh, but none of these guys are all that great either. I mean, I suppose he'd be useful. Yeah. We could do some ideology boosting. We'd need more spies to be able to do it because you have to have one that's assigned to, you know, do the intel. I guess he's just doing counter intel because we had him doing intel in uh, Romania. That's right. Yeah, I suppose we could work on doing some boosting with our natural orator. Why not? Who do we want to try to get over to our side? Probably the Swedish, right? Yeah, because you're going to be fighting all these guys here. Or at least just to make communists. We might not necessarily get them on our side. Yugoslavia would be another choice. And they actually have a bit of communist support. 17% compared to the 8% uh, that the, the Swedish currently have. So that would be one route to go too. But yeah, I think they'll end up getting annexed before we ever get them up there. That would be another option. Maybe a bit later. Let's work on the, on the Swedes. So they can make uh, strategy games for us. Uh, so... Yeah, let's go and get the, the operatives going over there. Uh, we'll have him do the Intel network. And we we'll have to wait till that gets set up there. There we go. And then we'll be able to uh, start with the boost ideology here to communism. And remember, he gets a, a bonus to doing that, so it'll go up higher. All right, is there anything I need to be aware of? Uh, and especially in the Air Force, we can say we don't need to be notified of that. Paranoia isn't a good location right now, or a good place, I should say. And we could get a couple uh, officer corps here. I don't know who's all available. It looks like we have a couple cheap options or something. Yeah, we have an airborne assault specialist here. Uh, what's the other choice? Uh, and the chief of navy that we could do as well. Let's start getting us faster navy experience, I suppose. I'd prefer to get the chief of air force first, though. That'd be 100 fluid power. I don't know if that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, our stability is incredibly low. And there is an advisor that grants stability. He would grant us 15%, which get us above 50%, so we're no longer getting penalties, because that's what's hitting our production. The Nationalists did finish up in the, the Spanish Civil War, but I thought that already happened. And not entirely sure. I didn't read what that was about. Maybe it was about something else. Do we need to train anybody? You know what? We need to be changing up division designs. That's what we need to do. I bet we have infantry equipment. Uh, not quite. We're at 12,000. But there's no reason, because we're not at war right now, uh, there's no reason that we can't make those adjustments now. Yeah, just look at the supply situation over here. It's just garbage. Uh, we might need to start fixing those railroads soon. Uh, we could actually do that a little bit. Just like to improve the, the biggest holes here. So we're looking for level 1s that we need to improve, because not all of them do we have to. I'm thinking here will be necessary. So the supply here is an issue, so you gotta improve that one, but then that's not enough. Cause yeah, you got a level two going all the way through here, so are these guys not connected with the level two? Not really. Cause yeah, I don't think it's going all the way through here. Cause yeah, they got a level one there that's causing an issue. I mean, there's a lot of problems, as I've, I've mentioned a few times. There are a lot of holes uh, with the the Soviet supply system, or with their railroad system, I should say. So yeah, I think what we'll do is go ahead and improve this one here. And then this one, and then this one. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we're also going to want to improve the supply over this way. Let me see if there's any other noticeable holes. Oh yes, the new supply system that we just have. 
uh, gotten from conquering the Romanians. That's a problem as well. All right. So yeah, we'd have to build all the way out here. I don't think we're going to do that right now, guys. Let's fix our own supply system over here because we might just evacuate from all that. I don't know, though, because you could kill a lot of troops in these mountains. Uh, but yeah, you could evacuate and then just defend along the river because this is a big old front. I we'll have to see what happens, guys. We'll see where we're at division-wise and whether we want to defend that or not. Uh, so if we wanted to get rails going over towards these guys here, the higher level rails, I mean. Yeah, this is a lot of railroad we're going to have to build. So just looking for other like level ones that are causing blockages. We got the level two that goes all the way down this way and connects with level two, but a level one that's going to cause a, uh, a bottleneck, another bottleneck here. Yeah, a lot of bottlenecks on their rail system, as you can see. All right, so I guess if you wanted, you could fix that one. All right, so that's good. We'll work on the rail system, just so we're not facing any supply issues on our divisions. Kind of sucks we're working on it now. We, we really could be using the military factories. Let me make sure nothing's being repaired. Yeah, we don't want to work on that right now. But the rails are really quick as well, uh, so we can knock those out. Uh, you know, probably in, an, in a couple months, we we'll probably get all those rails done, and then we fix some of the supply issues up along the front, and we'll be able to put more divisions on there too, which is a big uh, issue right now. We don't have very many divisions on the front line. Uh, we'll go at the army department next. We'll just go from left to right on that. We already know we want to get them all. Could avoid getting all that right now, those upgrades, and instead uh, focus our civilian factories on on construction. I do like knocking those out kind of early. I'll also forget about it if we don't uh, get it. All right, so we do have a hundred, a hundred political power right now. Actually, we'll go through here. We'll see if there's anybody in the military high command we'd like to get. We shouldn't have any more uh, purges, hopefully. This could go with him and that'll increase the division recovery rate. Is this uh, considered a purge? Yeah, there is one more purge. Okay, so we have to do that last purge. So we're gonna wait to get anybody who might end up getting purged. In fact, we might as well just wait on getting anybody. Just finish the purges up, and then we know everybody that we have will get to keep, and we won't have any issues with it. So might as well just save the political power and uh, you know knock out these, what, 19 days that are left, and finish up the purges. As far as equipment, we should really start, now that we're on speed five, really should start the uh, fixing all these shortages that we're having. Yeah, mainly with the infantry equipment. Yeah, that's the main thing of concern right now. We did get the logistic company, excellent. Uh, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is probably maintenance companies. We also really need to get the tanks going too. We need to start researching some of this. We're way behind on this. But I do wanna keep one going for these support companies because uh, I wanna get these added to the, the division designs. Uh, so let's just go ahead and have one slot working on this for now. I think we're gonna go with the maintenance companies. Yeah, I think that'd be helpful. Uh, we're, we're probably going to get all of them, honestly, because of the way I'm going to have our divisions designed. And uh, we might even use the signal company, something I don't typically use. Uh, but there's a couple of division designs that we're going to have that I think could really use the uh, the signal companies. So you know what? Let's let's go ahead and uh, continue knocking these out. We'll get the maintenance company next. But yeah, the uh, stuck with the three tech slots is really hurting us. We'll get the May here, May 1st, and then we'll be ending the episode. Uh, we'll get the Navy Department next. Again, just knock all of them out. We know we'll need them. And there we go. That's the third Moscow trial. We'll see if we're going to lose anybody important that we already have appointed. Uh, we'll also better get rid of this guy too, which is hurting our stability and not really giving us benefits that are honestly all that worth it. So we just want to make sure we're not losing him, and we are. God damn it. All right, so he's going to get purged. So that's a shame. But this is, again, this is why I didn't want to uh, get anybody because we didn't know if they were just going to get purged. And I think that's it. Yeah, it looks like he's the, the last person that we'll have purged. Uh, that we actually are using, I mean. All right, here's what it is. Uh, so now we don't have his benefits anymore, the construction benefits, which are pretty helpful to have. Uh, so you know what, we're not gonna go to May 1st. This is gonna be the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the focus selected. Now that we're completely open up, we don't have to spend time on this anymore. Now we are gonna want to, to get the be behead the snake. So we can try and take out Trotsky. This will give us another operative as well, which is always helpful to have. And these are like decisions to assassinate Trotsky, which remember we have a modifier here, which is hurting us. 
we're losing stability and we're not getting as much political power as we could be getting. Uh, so knocking out that focus would be good and it's a 35 day one. Honestly, there's like so much stuff that we need and I'm really not liking uh, our cer current uh, research situation. So I feel like we have to go for a research slot right now. We're just desperate for one. Could also start working on the next you know, five year plan, but again, the research slots is what we really need. So this is the choice we have to make uh, between these two here or these two here. Oh, actually, no, uh, you can pick either one of these. It's irrelevant. Oh, you gotta have both of these though in order to even get this one. So it's just a choice between these two. All right, so that's a shame. You gotta go out to three 35 day focuses before you can get that research slot. So which one's quicker? That or what we have to get here? It would be that one over there uh, to get to this research slot because you know this one is uh, 235 day and a 70 day. I guess you could look at like which one's most beneficial, which I think it's clear that the ones over there are more beneficial. So we'll go after those ones. Uh, so we can either get national uh, national specialists or foreign experts, and we will be doing the national specialists. This is going to be modifying uh, several of our uh, design companies, including one I think we already have, uh, the Stalingrad uh, Tractor Factory, I think is the one we're using right now. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we grabbed that one. So we'll get more civilian factories, and we'll build a research uh, faster. That's going to improve it. Uh, you no, know, industry research, I mean. And then also you have the Soviet railway is one that's going to improve too. But yeah, I think this is a clear choice for us to get. So we'll go knock that one out in 35 days. That's going to be a nice bonus for us immediately. Also, we do have political power to spend and we got a lot of open slots. Uh, we need to get rid of that guy for the stability bonus, but I feel like you should probably get new people first. And yeah, we're not going to have very many good people here. Uh, we do have him. He could help. Uh, you better build supply hubs and railways quicker. In fact, we are building all those railways, so that might be the better thing to get right now. Now, it will result in trains costing more production, but they will have more reliability. There's not really a whole lot of choices here. So yeah, I think we're going to go with him. Yeah, we'll get him, and uh, that allow us to construct those railways just slightly quicker. Uh, and then the next guy we'd get would be the stability. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go here, guys. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, let's go and get these railways built a little bit quicker. Uh, now, we've already built a few of them. Uh, but you can see it just doesn't take very long to get those. Also, we got some of those military factories done, too. We're sitting at 52 military factories at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this should improve the supply situation in many of the areas that we're currently in. Uh, you can probably see some improvements already on the map here from what we, we got constructed. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Got Romania knocked out. Made a little bit of progress here. Going on speed 5 until whenever the next war will be, which likely won't be anytime soon. Uh, because we we'll have to do those focuses, and we're so far behind on the focus tree. Uh, honestly, the Soviet focus tree. I'll talk about this more next episode, because this is the end, and I prefer to mention it more you know, in an earlier part of an episode. But what I will say is the Soviet focus tree, I don't know, guys. It, it does feel like... You just can't get a reasonable amount of stuff done, and, and it forces you to go certain ways. Yeah, I'll go into the more detail on my feelings with the focus tree, but, you know, like, you have to go after so many of these things, and yet you, you can't keep that paranoia system. And, like, look at how many focuses there are to get rid of the paranoia system. This is insane. Now, I know a lot of these are 35-day focuses, but, I mean, this is a lot. You just got to spend a lot of time... To get rid of it and you have to get rid of it you can't have Stalin killing your generals once the war starts you know so yeah I feel like you have to get rid of it and so it just it just feels like far too many focuses I prefer they like locked it based on time or something you know what I mean like you can't do it until a certain time or or whatever rather than make me spend you know all this time doing these focuses but yeah uh, again I'll talk about that later because it's it's a, a whole problem with the, the Soviet focus tree uh, I find I like it but there's some issues, some serious issues that result in the Soviets being a lot weaker uh, than they, they should be or, or unfairly weak compared to other countries in the game, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about that more maybe next episode or the one after that. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like in the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.